Hello, I'm Lex from New Life Restoration and today we have Matthew Greeson who heads our mold remediation division here. Now he's a qualified microbiologist with 15 years experience in the field. He's also double I CRC trained and qualified in mold remediation. Today we're going to go through the top three things why mold is dangerous and what you can do to remove the mold as well. So thanks Matthew. Thanks Lex. Um, well first of all um, Mould um, produce what we call mycotoxins, um, and it's these toxins that do cause um, uh, problems to humans. Um, probably the, the number one uh, problem that, uh, or the number one complaint I get out in the field is that um, mould cause a lot of uh, breathing difficulties um, in our clients. So um, basically, um, people who, who uh, suffer from asthma are more susceptible to, um, to uh, these toxins. Um, and also it has been known to uh, cause asthma in certain cases okay. as well. So um, the next uh, reason why mould is so dangerous is um, it can attack our central nervous system um, and cause a number of effects, uh, usually behavioural effects. Right, okay. um, and the last reason why mould is so dangerous is it can suppress our, our immune system um, so, and therefore uh, make us feel quite lethargic and, um, and we, we are therefore unable to um, attack any sort of uh, other, other diseases that we encounter, such as the common cold. Okay, so let's say somebody is maybe experiencing one of these uh, symptoms. What, yep. what can they do? What's the first step to make sure to stop this from happening? Yeah, sure. Um, first step, uh, if, if it is such a small, mild, contaminated um, area, then you, you can attempt to clean it yourself. Um, but if that is unsuccessful, then I would probably uh, recommend a remediator to do. To and do. Well, what type of steps would a remediator do to uh, remediate the mould or to? Yeah. So, so firstly, you need to contain the um, the environment uh, or the contamination. Uh, secondly, you'd have to HEPA vacuum that that area first um, to physically remove the spores from the environment. So, for all the listeners out there, what is HEPA vacuuming? Yeah, is sure. A, a HEPA vacuum is basically. Um, a, a vacuum that removes 99.7% of particulate uh, down to about 0.3 microns. Okay, so you've done the HEPA vacuuming, what's the next step? Yep, HEPA vacuuming uh, would th then require um, uh, wiping the surface with a, some sort of surfactant would be sufficient to physically remove the mould from the environment. Okay. Um, and then you may treat it, if you like, with, say, an 80% vinegar solution um, or a 70% ethanol solution, some sort of antimicrobial. Now, obviously, you need to make sure that you're protecting your health while you're uh, remediating the mould. And what type of um, protection yeah, should they wear? Yeah, we, um, we generally use a full face mask, which is a, um, a HEPA-filtered mask with a, with a carbon filter. Okay. Um, so that basically will stop us inhaling any of the spores and the toxins. Um, so we have a vacuum and then, then we can scrub these surfaces. Um, in some instances we, we may need to remove these, um, these uh, surfaces as well. Okay. Such right. as, such as um, plasterboards and okay. that sort of thing. A trained remediator would, have, would know what... Can they be they would be able to recognise yeah. what, what needs to be taken out. Um, any sort of non-porous or... Um, uh, sorry, any sort of porous or semi-porous uh, material will probably need to be removed, um, uh, depending on what sort of contamination levels there are. All right, there you have it. So um, as professionals, these are the type of steps we take. Also, um, we use a standard, which is a double I CRC S250. And um, if you're getting a trained mold remediator to do the work, this is the type of standard that they'll, use, they'll need to use. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to send us an email or if you have a mold problem in the Queensland, Australia uh, region, feel free to give us a call. Thanks a lot and see you later.